We are back. I ask that you um, do what you need to do to get to. Um, yeah, whatever. Thanks for being here, y'all. This video is for educational purposes, research purposes, and um, critiquing. <laughs> yes, I have to say that because there are certain guidelines you have to follow when doing certain things on certain platforms without saying too much. Wink, wink. Anyway, I want to get into this video, y'all. I found a dope channel. See through the script. The Doors to Success. Lil Baby. <laughs> y'all know what Nori said about those three doors. Yeah. So um, let's get to it. Let's check it out. The Doors of, of Success. Lil Baby. Let's go. popularly known as Lil Baby. Recently, Lil Baby has been making the rounds because of a video surfacing of him apparently kissing another dude. What? When? Where? How? Why? Where was I when this happened? We come from the same label, y'all. I'll get into that later. Food on the lips. Hold on, pause. There was also another. A video of him on stage when a homie of his. Well, I'll just, I'll just let you see it for yourself. Oh yeah. I s and that's just one of the doors we've seen artists like Lil Baby go through. When I say doors, I'm referring to the infamous Nori interview, where he discussed what one's gotta go through to quote unquote, make it in the game. One of those doors, of course, involves those suspect activities. And the situation with Lil Baby isn't really that new because we've all seen that infamous clip of Lil Wayne when he and Birdman did. What's so crazy is they did this multiple times. Multiple times. And what they said was it was some old mafioso type behavior. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Parties to the all white parties where Lil Baby also got caught. Will Smith, OMG, hold on, we'll get to it next. Called out for looking mighty suspicious in these photos. With all that, I figured why not explore the other doors Lil Baby has walked through during his time in the spotlight. But first, you know we gotta get a little backstory to understand how it all got. First responders do the incredible. It's alright y'all, we don't have premium. Take this out of like the video. Lives. Let's get it too long for Lil Baby to get himself into trouble. In an interview with DJ Vlad, Baby explains that at the age of 12, he went to juvie for breaking into houses for a very short period of time, planting the seed in Lil Baby's mind about rapping and putting down his life in the streets. By 2016, Lil Baby came out of jail and was ready to hit the boot with the help of QC and their resources. A Lil Baby Now, that's the new location where he is now um of qc it's not the memorial i want to say memorial boulevard memorial avenue memorial road memorial street and memorial something but that's not that one the one that i'm talking about is 1478 i want to say uh we come from the same cloth industry wise I was around when Lil Baby would come to the studio, the old studio, with his homeboys, a bag full of blue Benjamins when they first came out, and they would literally paint the ground blue. It would look like foreign monies on the ground. I never knew how they could decipher whose money was whose when they're shooting these dice and all these bills are on the ground and it's just big piles of money. But I did see a person in the background hating named Quavo. Quavo stories coming up soon. 
actually struggled to put together a full song, making his time in the booth unproductive, leading him to kind of leave rap alone. But that quickly changed in early 2017 when he finally got into the rhythm, with a little help from fellow Atlanta rapper Gunna, who Lil Baby famously admitted to paying $100 a verse to help Baby better understand how to write his own music. I started. Yes, Baby released his first tape, Perfect Timing, with features of other Atlanta notables such as Young Thug and Lil Yachty, both two fruity individuals, with features of other Atlanta notables such as Young Thug and Lil Yachty. I have never seen that picture of Yachty. Um, Yachty. Huge heart, great guy just knows how to play the game and knows what to do some things that i wasn't down to do but i've never seen that picture the oprah stuff i saw that wow both two fruity individuals now this is what i'm gonna say y'all this is when it went crazy for yadi when he did this when he put the dress on it everything opened up for him pause um nautica target things like that and this is a dude that made some of the worst music and he knew it yeah let's go rules themselves i might add but still all wasn't golden as Lil projects in 2017 alone with songs like my dog freestyle of one of their up and control music but like Lil Baby, Marlo was also one foot in and one foot out until he started to take it a little more serious, also convincing Lil Baby to do the same. Naturally, these two featured on each other's solo projects and also released a joint tape in October of 2017 titled To The Hard Way. To say the least, Marlo was considered a really close friend to Lil Baby even before that. Now, you've seen me document it countless of times on my channel from artists like ASAP Rocky, Eminem, Joey Badass, or even my recent video on released his sophomore album on camera, kneeling on George Floyd's neck, which then led to facing a more political and lyrical side of Lil Baby compared to his street talk normally shown. And seriously, at this point, Lil Baby was receiving high praises from both fans and peers for his ability to switch up the style when needed. Then about a month after coming off a high from another successful single, Lil Baby's close friend and rap affiliate Marlo was shot and killed while driving on Atlanta's Interstate 285 the night of Saturday, July 11th and what reports suggest was a targeted attack. Of course, many rumors still fly around till this day. It was Marlo targeted, all right. Happened, from Marlo being a target of revenge. As Atlanta journalist George Cheedy states in a DJ Vlad interview that Marlo's older brother committed a murder back in the day and managed to get off scot-free due to the two witnesses not showing up to trial. George speculated that Marlo's death could have been related to that. Either way, they haven't found the killer yet, so something is really sketchy about this case. It's important to remember that Baby and Marlo came up around the same time and both were signed to the same label, but Marlo wasn't seeing nearly as much success as Lil Baby, which led him to still being heavily involved in the streets. Plus, I love their help. I like this dude. And he's really spot on with a lot of his information. Let's get it. So without further ado, let's use the practice of English Gematria to break down the numbers behind Rudolph Johnson, AKA Marlowe's tragic death. First, let's start with his stage name, Lil Marlo. And yes, I'm aware I've been calling him Marlo, and that's because he went between the two names throughout his career. Marlo died from a shooting on Saturday night. Note, Saturday and shooting have a two for two match in the Ordinal Cyphers. On top of that, the day he died, July 11th, written as such, equates to 107 as well. July 11th was also the 193rd day of the year 
and 193 is the 44th prime number. As you can see, Georgia. For all of you people that think this stuff doesn't apply and you think it's stupid, you might be what you're thinking. These people are really like overindulged in numbers. And it's that deep in the game. Believe it or not, your favorite artist indulges in the same activities. The state he died in equates to 44, like the words below. Here you'll notice from Marlowe's 30th birthday, which was May 1st, to his death on the 11th of July, is a span of 72 days, including the end date, which perfectly aligns with his real name, Rudolph Johnson, in the reduction cipher. Also, from the release of Marlowe and Lil Baby's joint tape to the hard way on October 9th of 2017, to his death is a span of 1,007 days, point to 113. Here we can see that Marlowe was killed around 11.30 p.m. When I calculated from his birthday to his death, it turns out he lived exactly 11,030 days, like the number 113 with the rules of numerology. On top of that, the final album he released while alive, first and third, equates to 113 in the reverse ordinal. A few other things worth pointing out, despite the confusion of Marlowe's age, it seems quite clear due to multiple sources that he died at the age of 30 years old. So far, we've seen an example of what likely was Lil Baby's sacrifice of a close friend. And just before that, we saw him doing the all-seeing eye pose on his Instagram. Facts. I mean, this symbol truly cannot be overlooked. It's done by practically all the biggest celebrities, and it goes on throughout all forms of mainstream entertainment. Once again, you could see Lil Baby doing a similar pose with the British magazine ID in 2021, where they have a bunch of celebrities posing with the one eye in different variations. So as I mentioned in the beginning of this Wow, look at them all video, Lil Baby was getting some flack from the fans. All right, y'all, that's a Lil Baby. Let's try Will Smith. Uh, Dwayne Martin. So apparently there's supposed to be this dude uh, that's outing Will. And um, I guess Will was paying him for 40 years to keep secrets. And now the secret is no longer a secret. Let's check it out. Take this time to like the video, y'all. It's free. If you don't want to like the video, just cash at me, show some love. Trap House Kitchen 1. Trap House Kitchen 1. Show some love. All right, let's go. His assistant is claiming that Will Smith once had sex with actor Dwayne Martin. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. The claims are made by Smith's former friend and assistant, Brother Bilal, during an interview with Tasha Kay, a clip of which was posted to YouTube on Monday, November 13th. Talking about intimate moments he spent hand. with the Smith family while he worked as an assistant for Will, he recounted an incident where he was trying to find Will Smith only to discover- Bruh, Will's looking a bit sus. <laughs> Why are you playing with this man? I get it, but I don't get it. Over him engaged in anal sex. That I won, I walked in him. Who'd you walk in him? Him and Dwayne Martin. Eyes on Will, you got, we, we, we need him to come watch this. So I'm running all over the, the, the studio. He's not in his dressing room. I go to the cafeteria. I'm like, well, but I see his car there. I'm like, where is this guy? Is this why Jada's so unruly? And having um, entanglements? I am. So now I'm holding Dwayne down too. So I have the keys to his dressing room. So, all right, I open the um, door to Dwayne. Wow. Look at Jada looking so good. It's crazy to imagine <laughs> what was really going on. Look at the order in which they're sitting. He's not next to his woman. He's not next to his woman. He's in the middle of... It was good seeking dressing room and there was a couch and um will was bent over on and Whoa. will needed that validation to have that type of woman you saw her he's her you can buy her 80 cars you can get her 80 private jets if she's itching for that baby lady 
affair with singer August Alcina in 2016. She claimed... Let me know your thoughts. We're not going to go too far into it. There are some words that I don't want on my platform. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe. I am out. Peace.